So you guys are probably wondering what I am doing today. Read that sign and you will figure it out. I am in Gulfport, Mississippi right now and I am going into the brand new Mississippi Aquarium that I have not been into yet. Um, I don't know, Let's, we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna see what's going on. Let's see what this sign says. Just shows you the prices to get in. Uh, yeah, so I will check up with y'all guys when we get further inside. So we made it in. I don't know how big of a video this is gonna be, but I thought it was cool. I am up here in Biloxi Kiln area for the weekend, and I wanted to go do something kind of by myself. So I figured I'm gonna go see some little fishies, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So it should be a fun video, and yeah, so you guys can see it with me. It's pretty big. Alligator. There ain't an actual alligator in here, huh? I would hope not. I don't think so. Um, let's let's start this way and see what we got going on. That's the gift shop. Changing tides. Oh, that might be a. gift shop I don't know I'm lost I don't know where I'm at <laughs> aquatic wonders this is what I want to see all right I'll see y'all guys when I get in there it's a pretty blue escalator and I dropped my card again they just told me I dropped it and then I dropped it again They just had me, when you walk in the door, you take a picture and they take your picture. So I mean, this should be pretty cool. Oh, it's like, it screens. Oh, that is cool. Definitely already, I am having little jitters. All right, we're gonna walk over here and see what's going on. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah, we started our no touch, 15 minute no touch break, but you're more than welcome to stay up with me. Welcome to the program and come back up. What's in our stingrays? We have rays in our touch pool here, we have rays in the main habitat as well. We have two different species of rays, cow nose rays, yellow rays, and Atlantic rays in the touch pool. Steak. And horseshoe crab, bonnet head shark, bamboo shark, and coral cat shark. Some dangerous little creatures. And they just said they're, they're on break for their petting, so I don't get to pet a stingray today. I actually kind of scared of them. I don't like them that much. But the oh, little sharky boy. Sharky boy. Hi. Hi, how you doing, sharky? Are you shark boy? Hello. This is pretty cool. Definitely would recommend this already. And I'm probably not even halfway through it. Hey, little stingray boy. Hi. Short bait. Ooh, ah. Oh, you guys made me eat. <laughs> he was waving at me a while ago. <laughs> that is cool. 
Awesome. This, this, this is what I needed. You guys already, I'm recommending y'all checking this out because it's pretty cool. little walkway and it's just like a giant could you imagine just imagine what happened if all of that just like shattered crazy bro it's the first time i've been in an aquarium in forever since i was really little i mean it's it's and i really didn't appreciate it when i was little so i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot more interesting the older you get. So uh, I told you guys I was up here with my sister for the weekend. Uh, we're going to the park at OWA tomorrow. So that's gonna be a separate video. Um, this is gonna be a video itself. That is just, guys, look at this. I, 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 I've come from the top and I'm, I can't get over it. It's, it's really cool. It's just, it's something, it's something amazed. exchange I guess it's telling you how the uh, tanks work and stuff I can pause the video and y'all can read this if y'all want to um, I'm gonna read it kind of on my own but this is I'm glad I did this today I really am And this, this isn't very old. It's pretty much fairly new to Mississippi. Look at this. This is epic. It's a, like a glass enclosed area. I've already filmed this and I lost it. So, I mean. It looks it's just, this is pretty cool. There was a turtle floating around here somewhere a while ago and I lost it and I don't know where it went. I have to find the turtle again. It's pretty deep. I got the cracky boys on the A. There was a turtle in here a while ago and I lost it and I don't know where it went. There's a few stingrays, a few sharks. This is really cool. Wow, oh, hello. Andrew? I don't want to find that turtle now. It's creaking too much for my place. Where's the turtle? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Turtle, turtle. I really feel like I'm going to fall out of this thing. I don't feel very sturdy, but this is cool. Turtle, turtle. Yep. And through the tunnel, through the tunnel. Um, the lighting is here. It's like really good. And then we're back to where it was a while ago. Like we originally came in from up top there and went around and it brought you out to that tunnel. So now we're at the bottom of this. There's a pole. <laughs> definitely, definitely recommended, I think. It's 
cool to get up close to them and stuff. The water's clear. Oh, big fishy boy. Oh, another one hiding. But that's that, and I guess we're gonna keep on keeping on. Parking to get in here was very, very cheap too. Into the blue tunnel we go. I really don't know. I, I, I'm not even looking at the map. I'm just keeping on, keeping on. The lights are turning me blue. Another viewing point of the tunnels of the thing we just went through. I guess a little lookout spot, so we're gonna check them out. Oh, another mask. There's a little lookout spot. Oh, here we go. I am too tall for this. <laughs> so it pays to be short. <laughs> yes. I would imagine it does. Okay, I had to switch right there because I uh, I had to turn my flash off. This is pretty cool. It's like a little lookout spot. I'm like, oh, I'm way too tall for this. I am on my knees right now. And then that's the little glass thing you all threw a while ago. Oh, let me get out of here. Out of the little hole. Oh, Lord. And then that's what we walked on a while ago. It's really cool how they engineered this. Hello, Mr. Fish. How you doing? I see a big sharky boy. It's another angle point. Stingray. That's another very good vantage point. They got a bunch of yellow fishes right there. That's the coolest thing I've done in a good minute. Somebody has their flash on on the other side. Oh, I bet that's a good spot to look. I bet that's a big old tank over there. Oh, look at the shark. Is that a shark? That is a big old shark. I don't know. It's probably not a big shark. But I mean, it's a decent sized shark. It could hurt. I would assume to bite. I do, I do want to ask somebody that. I was like, how do the sharks not eat? Like, what's in there? Oh, little dude. I'm just chilling. You're all by yourself. All by but I wonder how like sharks like that don't eat all the other fish. So I mean I'm gonna ask them that. The pooper. And I'm gonna hopefully get an answer. So that's what everybody on the other side was looking at. Like the bigger sharks that are in there, why don't they try and like eat other fish? That's a great question. So our sharks, we actually do what's called station training with them. So they are each trained where they see a visual signal and um, they actually will probably start feeding in about 10 minutes. And so they put the sign in the water that shows the shark as a visual cue. It's my cue to eat. They come up to it and then they get their food. So they get fed on the ends of tongs. Um, and it's like seafood fish. So the reason they don't eat these guys is because they don't have to hunt on their own. And they also um, are full. We don't have a lot of good too hungry. Or else they would eat them. <laughs> Everything else is outside. So 
little stingray boy. So I asked her, y'all got y'all's answer. A little shark at the bottom just chilling. That's pretty much what that is. And they said everything else is outside, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, it was it was really, really fun. I might go out and do it again. <laughs> they said everything else is outside. So we're gonna see what we can see out here for vlog wise and then I'm probably gonna go through it back kind of by myself and uh, kind of look at everything. It's an otter. Oh, she's feeding otters. Lunch time, ain't it? Yeah. What you feeding them? Fish. Fish? <laughs> What's their names? Sugar and Magnolia. Sugar and Magnolia. Sugar on the left, Maggie's on the right. You got her, Snow? Okay. Uh, what we got over here? Nothing, just a pretty little waterfall. Otter's got him a decent sized little habitat. Going underneath. Oh no, I am too tall for this. Nothing to see is it, do you? I guess they can come in here and they can look at the otters. They said the kids otter look, but I am a giant kid, so, but I have to get out of here because I will have back pain in the morning if I do not. And we keep walking. Dolphins! Dolphins! Oh, here we go. Hey guys! What's going on? Paddle, 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 paddle. Huh. That's cool. See some dolphins. I guess we can go up here. I don't know. It's the least they could do is kick me out. I don't know. Let's... See, I guess we can't come up here. Hey, how are you? Good. Let me know if you have any questions about the dolphins, I can have an answer for you. What's their names? So we have four dolphins, they're all boys. The oldest is Axel, who's 10 years old. Finn is eight years old. Nigel and Archer are half brothers and they're seven years old. So Axel and Finn are in the front and Nigel and Archer are in the back right now. 
They came to us from SeaWorld Orlando. They were born there. Oh, cool. That is really cool. Looks like we got some bird, bird place. So we'll walk in here and see what's going on. <laughs> Birds. <laughs> Gotta watch out for dropping poop, huh? <laughs> Wait, so you know each one's name? I do. No, I'm wrong. All right, what's the two ducks? They are called pudding or dancers. They are North American ducks. This is the male and crack. They are actually come to Mississippi to spend the winter, and then they go north. So how do you know which one's the male and female duck? Uh -huh. This little guy that's carrying on here, her name is Mel. She is a masked lapwing, and I cannot stand for it to rain. So I have crossed all afternoon because it rains. Part of that, you're going to be in the mask the these beautiful birds are called Nicobar pigeons. They were originally found only on the island of Nicobar and the off the coast of India, but they have moved into Asia. This guy here with the growth on his nose is a male. The ones that don't have the growth are females. The white and black guys in the back are called Pied Imperial pigeons. They come out of Australia and Asia. And the word pied means black and white. This beautiful one with its back to us is called a lady rock turtle. It comes from Africa. It is a fruit and grain eater. It was named in honor of Eliza Ross. She was the wife of a British diplomat and she took the first feather and drawing to a scientist and named it in her honor. These two geese strutting by are brothers. They are what's called a nene goose. They are the state bird of Hawaii and found only in the state of Hawaii. They almost went extinct in the late 60s, but thanks to a great conservation effort by the U.S. government and some private organizations, they are now coming back. The little guy in front of us with the beautiful green and purple underneath is called an English body. It comes out of Africa, as it does the three up on the rope. They are called sexual pigeons. We have two females and a male. It's hard to tell with the glare, but I think the male is the one closest to the wall. He's slightly lighter and slightly larger. Uh, the white guys are called white ibises. They are native to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We also have the scarlet cousin right over there. It comes out of the Caribbean and South America. They're like a flamingo. They get their coloration from their food. You know uh, your stuff, huh? Yeah, you got? I got more. This is called <laughs> a white cheek turtle. It is related to the lady Ross. It gets its name from its feathers on its side. These two guys are called Gia Kukus. They come out of South America. They are meat eaters. These ones coming towards us are called emerald wing doves. These are males. If you look at this one up under here, this is a female. See how she's browner and she yeah. doesn't have the swoop on her head. Uh, little green parakeets are called white wings. They come out of America. This is one of our favorites. His name is Blueberry. He is a blue belly rower. He is found in Central Africa. He is a meat eater. He gets his name from the rolls and turns they do when they're mating. Coming up behind us is one of our speckled mouse birds. They also come out of Africa. Uh, we have some starlings. 
This is a golden pheasant. If you look at him, you will see he has every color of the rainbow on him somewhere. Really? That's cool. And this is a red billed corn bill. They call him Zazu. He comes from Africa. And I love to feed the starlings. Oh, there's one there. She's like, mm, I don't really want that piece of fruit. If you bring me a worm, I would might eat it. She is called a superb starling. Uh, over here, looking at Molly, is our lady Amherst Bevan. He is a trying to attract his lady, but so far he's not having much luck today. But he has been flaring his tail and flaring his. Why do you have to keep them in cages? They're not in cages, it's open. Oh. This is actually called a recall cage. They use it should an animal need veterinary care, should they need to move one out, uh, so they'll be used to it. The guy hanging in there is Juan Solo. She is a blue-throated, see his little thing hanging down? Blue-throated piping Juan, and he is related to the turkey. And the only one I know I missed was the purple glossy because I just saw it. Let's see if I can see it again. It's a beautiful purple and blue bird. She was our other uh, one that Zazu always tries to see. <laughs> Zazu, because he is a male hornbill, in his species, it is his job to feed the female. She will lay eggs or crevice swallows. Oh, there he is. This is awesome. It's like, no, I want a worm. I don't want anything else. But the female will cover herself in except for one little fold once she's laid eggs. And she will stay there until the babies are ready to fly away. So it is a male's job to feed her. So Zazu doesn't have a female. So he has adopted the stars. Oh, I see one more more than this that's coming this way. This beautiful lady oh, here is called a Princess of Wales Cherokee. She comes out of Australia or New Zealand. We have two little girls. Uh, they were named in honor of the first Princess of Wales. Her name was Alexandria. She married Prince George, who went on to become King George. He was the story of that. Almost done. <laughs> That's that's really impressive. I'm not even gonna lie. That is that is very impressive. That was a, a really cool tour. Um, to get that was it was it was interesting. So um, I don't know what else there is to do. If I don't know, I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna take the mask off for a minute and uh, kind of take a breather. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video. I think I covered everything. I'm going to walk back to the aquarium one more good time. There's some fishes in the bottom of that water. But I'm going to walk through the aquarium one more good time. And yeah, so I got the Park and OWA video coming out. And yeah, for right now, I think that's going to do it. Uh, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you like the video. And as always, do what you love and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.